Collector's Guide. I'm your pack leader for this hunt, Mandy Roncalio Meyer. Or if you guys want to call me Shadowfire, that's cool too. It's really early in the morning, guys. It is 5:23 right now, and it is release day for issue number 24. I am up early because me and my hubby, there he is, we're heading to Portland to go see Wendy and Richard. So this is going to be an exciting day, and I'm taking you guys along with me. So are you ready to go? Let's go. And guys, I haven't got to read the new issue yet, but I did just digitally order my copy so that I can read it in the car on the go. So, here we go, guys! Alright, guys, well, it is currently 6.05 a.m. Let's see if you guys can see that. 6.05 a.m. right there. And we are heading out the door, and it is dark out. We are on the road. Heading out to Portland. Can't wait, guys. It's gonna be a blast. It's now about 10 minutes later, and we are actually down in the neighborhood and off the mountain. You can see a little bit more, but not really too much. It's still really dark out here, guys. We're about 10 minutes later, and we actually see our first other car. Hi, other car. How are you this crazy dark early morning? been on the road for about half an hour and we're just now pulling into our local town of Cave Junction. Forgot to tell you guys something exciting that I just found out yesterday and uh, those of you familiar with the ElfQuest Facebook groups and stuff, David Mizajewski is going to be at the event too so I'm really excited I'm going to get to meet him too. Uh, for those of you who don't know David Mizajewski, he's an admin on several of the ElfQuest Facebook groups. He's also um, one of the hosts of the ElfQuest Show podcast, so that's going to be really exciting. Uh, if you guys kept, uh, caught my special report from one of the Comic Cons, he actually sent me some footage and helped me out with that, so it's going to be exciting, guys. Good stuff. I'm so psyched. We just nabbed a quick breakfast for the on the go, and now we stopped off at our local Dutch Brothers. Move over Starbucks in Oregon. We got Dutch Bros. It's now 7 a.m. and we've been on the road for about an hour. It's actually getting light outside. And look, now I can turn the camera around and say hi, guys. Good morning. I still haven't read the new issue. I've got it sitting on my Kindle and I haven't read it. I don't know why. I guess it's just because I'm hanging out with my hubby over there. We're having fun. Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, look at our truck is a mess, but that's okay. It's got all our stuff in it for our trip. We're gonna have a lot of fun and uh, this is exciting. It's now snowing, but you know what? Snow is not gonna stop us. We're gonna make it to Portland for this trip. All right, guys. Hoo boy, guys. I just read the new issue and you know me, I'm good. I'm not gonna say any spoilers, but all I'm gonna say is that was beautiful. I'm getting choked up just talking about it again, but Wendy, damn lady, that was good. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, guys, you gotta read Final Quest. You gotta read it. It was beautiful. It was amazing. I gotta go. <laughs> it's a few minutes later. I've kind of got myself back together. I'm not crying anymore, but uh, just wanted to say that was an amazing end. Like, oh, you can tell that a lot of heart has been put into the story by this ending. Like, oh, I'm still kind of speechless about it. I still honestly don't know exactly what to say other than it was beautiful. And I realized as we're driving that this is kind of like the perfect setting for me to have read that issue in because right now we're just we're driving down the road and it's slightly snowing a little bit and we have just like beautiful forest all around us. We're on the road up to Portland and I just think this was a perfect setting for me to read that issue in and then be able to sit here and just reflect on it while staring at these beautiful mountains. So I'll probably talk a little bit more about the issue later because I'm still kind of reeling. I'm still kind of coming back from reading it. But uh, yeah, that's that's my thoughts so far. Let's see where they go from there. <laughs> just look at this view. We've been 
on the road to Portland for about three hours now. We're bumping some tunes and keeping energized and having fun on the way. And uh, what tunes are we bumping? We're bumping My Little Pony. reread the issue again so excuse me if I'm a little choked up and teary eyed it's it's good stuff guys uh, like seriously this was the perfect end for the elf quest for the final quest issue 24 mwah, perfect perfect like I even I, on my second read through just now I noticed a few details that made me want to just jump it up and down in excitement like things that don't happen in the main like picture but if you look in the background you can see things happening you know Wendy's really good about that sort of thing make sure if you guys read issue 24 look in the background look at all the little tiny stuff happening in this issue because there's a lot of little details that wrap up questions that we've all been asking so look very carefully like pour over this issue with a fine tooth comb I'm telling you guys it's good stuff and I cried both times reading it. I'm probably going to read it at least one more time on the drive and probably maybe even a couple times more than that before I even get to the event later. So back on the road again guys and uh, I just want to take a second to tell you guys about something really cool that I found online. Um, you cosplayers out there are probably going to really like this for events and stuff. Uh, a friend of mine told me about a kind of mug. Now this, this kind of mug is called Goat Story. And there's a reason it's called Goat Story. You'll have to go look it up online. You can go ahead and Google it and find their website and find out what the Goat Story means. But uh, they're really, really cool coffee mugs that actually look like a drinking horn. Like, it's really cool. These things are 100% leak proof. They come with a, a, a leather um, casing, like a, like a drink holder there. You can see the uh, Goat Story logo on there and on the top. They're really cool. They have these nifty handles. It also came with like a purse type shoulder strap that you can clip it to. Um, I can't, here, let me set the camera down right here. I'll show you guys. A really cool feature of it is you take the cup holder part 
part of it off and you flip it upside down because you know this looks like a horn at the bottom you can't just set this on a counter but if you take it and flip this upside down you set that in there and then you can set that on a counter and it doesn't tip over but the other cool thing is even if you don't use this you can just set this on a countertop I've been doing it since I got this mug you just set it on a countertop and it doesn't leak so you don't have to worry about it making a mess on your counters and stuff I just want to tell you guys, I'm, I'm not like sponsored by Goat Story or anything like that. I just want to tell you guys about those really cool mugs because I found them, a friend showed them to me, and I thought they were really, really cool, especially for like ElfQuest cosplayers because now we can like bring our beverages with us and have them in this really cool mug that fits in with the cosplay. So just want to tell you guys that and you can check out Goat Story, you can Google it. I got mine off of Amazon. They, uh, looks like they come in two different sizes. I think it was like a 12 ounce and a 16 ounce. They come in all different colors. I just got the black one, but they do also have like a white ivory looking one. Now they're, they're totally plastic. I mean like, uh, they do have these, the leather handle and the leather, um, cup holder part of it, but you can get vegan versions that are completely animal free. So they're really cool guys. Go check out Goat Story. You can Google it or check it out on Amazon. Alright guys, so we're getting close to Portland. I just want to take a minute to say, everybody, give Adam a big thank you, okay? Everybody say thank you to Adam. If it wasn't for him, I would not be going on this trip. So if you're enjoying this video, if you if you enjoy the next few videos that are coming out all of, of, about this trip, make sure to say a big thank you down in the comments to Adam because he's like funding the trip. He's my chauffeur. He's my driver. He's my wonderful hubby. So say thanks, guys. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please remember to subscribe and like and comment down below. All right, guys, you know all of that already. Just the important part is saying thank you to Adam. And here we are, getting at the Kennedy School. Hi, Adam. Are you excited? Yeah, we're I'm here. To be done driving. <laughs> no, we've been driving for how long did that take? Let's see. It is now quarter after eleven. It took about six hours, maybe a little bit less, but uh, there it is, guys. There's the Kennedy School. This place is awesome. I've been here once before, back before I started being a YouTuber. <laughs> Stay here. We didn't stay here, no, but we came and we checked out their movie theater and it is awesome. Hey guys, so we didn't really get a whole lot of good footage while we were at the TIFA event. We got no footage of me getting ready for it. But I did get to cosplay as Hidden Years Moonshade and I am ducked somewhere in there in that big crowd way back in the corner. And we tried to get some footage, but just, I think we were too busy enjoying the event and getting to meet Wendy and Richard right here. And uh, didn't really focus too much on getting pictures and video. We just wanted to focus on being in the moment and having fun, being in the now, as we could say but uh, it was a lot of fun there was a lot of fans there I knew some people I didn't know a lot of the people uh, some people I knew from online like there's David Mizajewski right there th good old thorn break and uh, good times it was a lot of fun there's so many people there and uh, so I'm really sorry we didn't get very good footage here guys uh, I'm sorry my husband is a wonderful man but he's not a very good cameraman but I did get this contribution from Chrissy online yeah. <laughs> without Spoiling anything. It's hard to ask my question. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so my question is what will you miss most about telling a certain story about. I, it's hard to ask the question. I, I you know what I'm trying to say, though, right? word answer. Deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I was thinking about, but okay, I get it. <laughs> what will we miss most? You have to understand. All of this was planned more than 20 years ago. Do you know how hard it's been to keep our lips zipped? <laughs> <laughs> With you guys out there speculating online about how where the story is going to go and what's going to happen. Sit, to sitting on the big secret. Exactly. Yeah. We've been sitting on these secrets for over 20 years, and some of it was drawn 20 years ago. Yeah. So. Um, and, and by the way, I, you know we appreciate that. Whoa. <laughs> um, when the fourth collection of Final Quest comes out that has 19 through 24 in it, we will put some uh, some of the examples Ooh, of, that of artwork that is from the 1990s that you will recognize whole cloth in issue 24. We were, we were stunned. We're not making this up as we go along. No, no, we were stunned at how the, this old artwork just translated right into 
issue 24 s just seamlessly, we were like, hey, that was good planning, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Other than the deadlines. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say it, but I want to ask, you know what I mean? It, it, what are we going to miss? Yeah. We adore these characters. We yeah. still do. Well, they're always, they're it, always. They're, they're, you know, but 40 years, you know, yeah. and we had, we had a story arc to complete, and we, and we did it! Yeah. Yeah. And it was the only way the story could have ended! Yeah, really. I get it, I get it, yeah. So, you know, uh, that makes you feel kind of good, kind of peaceful. Completed, yeah. Com fulfilled, <laughs> yeah. sort of. Come to the Facebook page in a week when the spoiler period's over, and then you can ask that question. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but as, as was mentioned earlier, we're not letting go of ElfQuest. Well, no, and you can't do that. So whatever <laughs> fulfilled us as the primary creative force for 40 years, we get to kind of like be aunt and uncle now instead of the only source. Yeah, I get to be old maggoty. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to supervise. <laughs> Uh, the very, very next day, myself and Linda Boswell actually organized the first ever Oregon ElfQuest fans meet and greet. And uh, so we got together. This was at a little art center up in Portland. And we just hung out. We talked about ElfQuest. We talked about the final quest and the end of the quest. Uh, we traded. We showed some of our favorite collectibles. Linda and her daughters right there. You can see her two daughters on the right side of the screen right now. They actually all helped make a bunch of souvenirs. You can see that's Linda's daughter over on the right cutting up some bookmarks that we made for everybody to take home. So it was just good times. Uh, if you see that big box sitting right next to me right there, that was actually a big box of extra comics that I brought and I didn't want anything in return for those. All I did was just set those on the table and I went, hey guys, have fun. Take what you need. I don't want anything in return. And we just had a grand old time getting together, chatting about our favorite series, and doing some trades and giveaways and freebies and good stuff, guys. And by the time I left, there was only a very small handful of comics left in it. So I was very, very happy to share that box of comics with everybody. There you can see uh, someone going through it, sorting through, seeing if there's any they need. You can see I'm sitting there with my back to the camera, chatting with, uh, that's uh, Laura Lee Harbig. We're uh, chatting about Final Quest number issue 24 and getting it signed and everything. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember if you like this video to hit the like button down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and for more videos about myself. And until next time guys, shade and sweet water and happy hunting.